Hey ladies and gentlemen, so I'm here in my garage and I had a fix for the Yamaha R1. It's been overheating for me. I know it's a common issue, so I wanted to just throw a video on YouTube because I didn't see one before and I think it can help. Anyway, so it was a few things that simultaneously hit the fan for me, uh, figuratively and literally. Basically, my cooling fan stopped working and actually I brought a flashlight here, so I'm gonna show. So cooling fans, you'll notice are right behind there's the actual fan and uh, so it's behind all these wires all these wires have to tuck in and that's actually where the issue was so if I can kind of maneuver this this here that connector with the blue wire coming out of it that is actually power supply blue and black wire actually that's the power supply for the fan um, so that is coming directly from the battery and anyway as you can see I've taped this up so that was actually rubbing against the fan the fan power was killing itself and so that was one of the issues I think it grounded itself out um, so I fixed that anyway make sure that is one thing you definitely want to check aside from obviously like fuses so that's one thing you want to check make sure no wires or any kind of cable or whatever is going on in there is rubbing against this fan and I'm gonna so that's kind of where it is anyway obviously that's where the fan is so basically that's what you want to keep it away from second thing I did is I replaced the relay there is the nice shiny new relay so I replaced that um, that was like 30 bucks I got it from two wheel pros so good price there um, while I was at it, I haven't ridden this bike in like a month, so I just decided to take everything apart. I redid the headlight connectors because they were aftermarket and they were shit and they were also soldered. So I decided to make some kind of quick, uh, quicker release connections there. Um, so the relay needed to be done. Third thing, you'll notice that wire coming out of there. I did ghetto rig a fan switch. So I'll show that really quick. Okay, so here at the front of the bike, so I rigged it so it's right in there. And that's a really good switch actually. It does have a little LED. I didn't get that to work. I was putting it right to the battery, which was a shitty idea. So you would need to figure out how to tap into somewhere after the ignition. But that said, I finally took the actual positive terminal or the positive lead off there. It's actually a three prong switch and I took the, uh, the supply off of there seems to work now so let's see so right now it's just kind of pretty conveniently located and it works like a champ okay and the last thing i'm doing and i haven't done it quite yet is the hose here which commonly breaks um it's this guy with the kink in it and this thing i couldn't tell where it was leaking so you'll notice there's you know dried coolant everywhere it's obviously been leaking out the bottom and so it looks good right like everything looks good look especially right here on that seam doesn't look bad like I was stumped uh, as to where I was leaking coolant I thought it was the connections there and there so I tighten those down pro tip don't do that because you'll crack the hose not what happened but actually right there on that seam, that white part, that is actually where it broke. So there's a very, very small hole there that isn't gonna leak until you actually turn on the bike and build up pressure in the system. So I actually got the, I don't know if this is an updated part. So that right there, pause the video or whatever, get the updated part. It's this new hose and it's better apparently. So we're gonna put that in in just a moment and I'll be right back. Okay, so finally picking this video up a few days later. Um, anyway, finally finished with the hose. It is in there, it is brand new, very beautiful, has not leaked yet. So knock on wood with that. Um, as we can tell, I put the bike back together for the most part here. And the one thing I've been having issues with, you'll notice speedy dry down there. Uh, there's been a really slow leak, which is behind behind this fairing here. Uh, you can kind of see 
right there, the little hose clamp. Anyway, it hasn't, you know, I didn't clamp it down very well. Maybe a little bit too tight. Um, yeah, you can't over tighten it. Anyway, there's been a slow leak, but at this point, that's okay. I'm just going to leave it as is. Uh, but yeah, finally back together, finally got it back on the road and riding, and now it's fall, so yeah, going to get as much time in as we can. Uh, but anyway, that was basically the fix, and just wanted to give a quick update on that. Thanks for watching. Oh, 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 oh,